Here in my pot I have eight very large onions that I sliced up. I'm going to put in a stick of butter. I'm also going to add some salt in here. I'm going to uh, turn my stove, my burner, to medium low and just get these started going. It's been about 10 minutes and the butter finally melted. So now I can stir these around some. I kind of want to get the butter on them. Move the salt around. And, you know, and, that, and also move them around so I can get the lid on there. Okay, we're going to cover it up and let them cook. Well, the onions have cooked for one hour on medium low. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit to just, just under medium. And see all that water in there? I'm going to let these cook without the lid now. Try it for about an hour and see what they look like. Well, they've been going for two hours. So three hours total. An hour to like let all their juices out and now I'm reducing them down to get rid of the juices. It's been two hours. Just just barely under medium heat and we're going to let it go for some more. Well it's cooked. The onions have cooked another two hours and they're getting nice and brown and looks like there's not as much in there now. I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour and stir this in and cook it up for about three, three or four minutes. Next I'm going to add one cup of vermouth. And I'm going to let this vermouth cook down to where it's a little more than halfway gone. Well, it's been about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to add three bay leaves. And I'm going to add some fresh thyme. This is three cups of beef stock and four cups of chicken stock. I like the mixture of the two stocks. We're going to let this cook for about 30 minutes. Well, it's simmered for its 30 minutes. And all we need to do is taste for salt. And I'm sure you're going to need to add some because it's going to taste pretty sweet. And it does add, it does taste pretty sweet. So I'm going to add some salt to it and taste. And if I need to add more, I'll add more. And just until we get it right. I don't have any of those uh, special uh, soup mugs that I can put into the uh, oven. Because lots of times, you know, you float a piece of this on top or two pieces on top and put your Swiss cheese on top. So I'm going to do it separately and then add it to the top of the cheese. Because I don't have those kinds of oven-proof soup bowls. And this is going to go, I'm going to put this in the oven underneath the broiler or the cooker. The broiler. So here's some of this marvelous soup. Put some of the cheese, the bread on top. I think two is enough. They have a cheese there too. You have a wonderful, wonderful meal. Make sure you add enough salt. I added at least a tablespoon of salt. And thanks so much for watching.